And happening now, we are taking another live look on the side of your screen there. That is Donald Trump That's speaking in Miami at the Bay of Pigs Museum. In front of him, you can't tell, but there's maybe 50 to 60 people there. We understand from reporters in the room that he is going to be receiving an endorsement from the apparently veterans of the Bay of Pigs Association. We know there's a lot of media in the back of the room. A lot of local networks have apparently showed up for this as he is making an appeal to Cuban Americans in South Florida. Trump has been spending the last couple of days in the Sunshine State. Really a must win for his campaign, make or break. We cannot say it enough. Florida, North Carolina, key battleground states for him. Even as we keep an eye on places out west, for example, like Arizona, we're just getting in a word into the phone here that Monmouth is out with a new poll showing Trump over Clinton by just a slim margin, 1%. Out in Utah as well, this is a state that could end up being a battleground, which is surprising to some. Reliably read Utah now in the mix. That is where we find NBC's Chris Jansing. She is joining us now from Salt Lake City uh, with Evan McMullen, the, the third party candidate, a potential threat there. It's the first day of early voting. So, Chris, you're out there. You've been seeing the polls. Uh, what are you hearing from voters? Uh, shock. Shock that we're here, as everyone seems to be shocked about what's <laughs> going on in Utah. As you said, not as just reliably red. It is a deeply red state. Consider that Mitt Romney, granted he's Mormon, but he won here in 2012 with like 76 percent of the vote. And in August, Donald Trump, not surprisingly, as a Republican, held about a 15-point lead. Now, when you take a look at all these polls, it's essentially a three-way race. Yes, Hillary Clinton challenging it. Evan McMullen, who is a graduate of BYU, who is Mormon, who is, he says, the true conservative, also challenging, potentially could win here. And so all of a sudden, we have all this interest here. You have Mike Pence. Who would have thought that less than two weeks before the election, a vice presidential Republican candidate would have to come to Utah to try and shore up support here? And then you have people like Mormon, former Senator Larry Pressler, who's been going around meeting with Mormon groups, this former Republican making the argument not only that Hillary Clinton can win, he believes she should win. Here's part of my conversation with him. I hear that, uh, to my surprise, this state is very pro-immigration. It wants a path to citizenship. It, it wants the old McCain uh, uh, bill. And that supersedes those other questions. That supersedes those other questions because the economy is very important. And Tim Kaine today uh, putting an op-ed into the local paper that is run by the Mormons, uh, talking about his service as a missionary, trying to be relatable to this heavily Mormon community. But it really is a toss-up here. The polls have been all over the place. Someone could win Utah, Hallie, in the 30 percent range. 35, 36, 37 percent could be a winning margin here. Chris, I love what you said right in the beginning there. What are, what are people's reactions? Shock. That kind of sums it up in a word. Mike Pence, by the way, as you mentioned, will be there uh, tomorrow. Yes, Chris, thank you very much from Salt Lake City. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.